Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing live gameplay using the Cockroach Road while playing the No Mirror Strategy. The Cockroach Road is one of the derived roads on the Baccarat scoreboard. And if you don't know how to read the Cockroach Road, I highly recommend checking out my video called How to Read the Cockroach Road. Go and watch that first, practice it, understand it, and then come back to this video, okay? Let's put up the bet spread I'll be using. $25 units, two levels, stop loss of $1,000. Let's shuffle up and see how the Cockroach Road holds up with the no mirror strategy. Shoot is ready to go. Let's see what the burn card is. An eight. Okay. Before we start, don't forget to destroy the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on bell notifications. That way you get notified whenever a brand new video goes live. Okay, now for the no mirror, I'll be doing rows of five instead of six to move things along quicker. For the cockroach road, since it's three rows back, we're gonna have to take a bunch of free hands. So I'm gonna fast forward some of these free hands. If you wanna see them, feel free to slow down the video. Okay guys, so let's get started. No mirror using the cockroach road. Okay, we have come to our first five results on the Cockroach Road. And since they are red and blue slashes and not banker or player, I'll be recording them as R for red and B for blue. So you guys could see, all right? So the Cockroach Road first five results are red, 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 blue, blue. So let's go ahead and record that. Red, 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 blue, blue. So if we are betting the no mirror, we're betting against the red. So we want chaos. We want to bet on chaos right now. So how would we do that? Let's take a look at the last result. It was player. Okay. So we move three to the left. One, two, three. And as you can see, the empty square does not match the filled square above it, which means if we bet player, this will be chaos. And that is the bet we want. We want to bet on chaos. So $25 on player. Okay, guys. Natural eight on bank. Banker. So we lose this. I'm going to record the profits and losses right next to the results of the Cockroach Road so you guys could see that. All right, so we missed on the first bet. The next bet is also a chaos bet, blue. So if we take a look at the scoreboard and move three to the left, one, two, three, you can see that if we bet banker, a red will show up because both of the squares are filled. So we don't want that. We want to bet on chaos. So I'm going to bet player again. All right, guys. And I'm going to do $50 on player since uh, we're at the next bet of our bet spreads. Seven, seven tie. Don't record it. Keep your bet up and keep going. 
natural nine on the player. player. Okay, so let's record this. All right, we win 50. As you can see, we hit on our second bet of the Cockroach Road. And what I'm gonna do is, to make it easier for you guys to follow, I'm just gonna delete once we get a hit and continue on this row right over here. Okay, guys? So I can give you an easier visual to follow. So let's take uh, three more free hands before we reset with the Cockroach Road. Natural eight on player. Okay, so that was a red result. Okay. Wow, player wins by one. Okay, that was blue. One more free hand and then we could start betting again. Player wins. Player. That was a red. Our column of five has completed, so we could start betting again using the Cockroach Road. What are we betting on if we're playing the No Mirror? Well, the first result was a red, so we're going to bet blue. Chaos. So let's find out which one is a blue bet. Last result was a player, as you could see, and we're going to move three to the left. One, two, three. You could see that both squares are empty, which means if we bet player, we will get a red. That's not what we want, so we're going to bet banker to get a blue. Okay, guys? 25 on banker. Banker wins. Banker. Okay, so we got blue and we won 25. Okay. collect this and clear our scoreboard make it easier to follow and let's keep going with the free hands natural nine on bank Banker. okay that's blue natural nine on player, player. that's also blue Player wins. Player. Another blue. Okay, one more free hand here. Player wins. Player. Okay, so this time we get a red. And we could start betting now since our column has come to an end. So first result is blue. We're gonna bet against that. So we're looking for red predictable. Let's see if the last result player will produce red or blue. We take a look at the square below it, move three to the left, one, two, three. Both squares are empty, so if we bet player, we would get red. So that is exactly what we want. We're going to bet player for red. Okay, guys? Natural eight on bank. Banker. So a blue showed up and we lost 25, okay? The next bet is also a bet on red. So let's take a look at the last result. Move three to the left. One, two, three. As you can see, both are filled. So if we were to bet banker, we would get a red result, which is what we're betting on now. So I'm gonna put $50 on banker. Banker wins. Banker. Okay, so that result was red and we won $50. Let's get paid here. So we hit on the second try using the Cockroach Road. I'm gonna clear this. Put the results over on this side and clear that. So 
Let's take uh, some more free hands so we could restart the column. Okay, guys? I hope you're following along. Natural eight on bank. Banker. Okay, that was red. Two more free hands. If you are confused, feel free to leave me a comment below. Okay, guys, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Player wins. Player. Let's say blue. One more free hand. Banker wins. Banker. That was a blue. We can start betting up here. First result was blue, so we're betting against it. We're going to bet red. And let's take a look at what the red will be. Last result was banker. Move three to the left. One, two, three. Both squares are filled, so if we bet banker, we would get a red, which is what we want. 25 on banker. Natural nine on player. player. So that was a blue result. Okay, we lose this. All right, let's go to our next bet. The next bet, a red showed up, okay? So we're gonna bet against that. We're looking for chaos, blue. So let's look at the last result, move three to the left, one, two, three. If we were to bet player, both squares are filled, which means we would get red if we bet on player. That's not what we want. So we're gonna bet opposite of player, banker, because we want a blue slash. Okay, guys, so 50 on bank. Banker wins. Banker. All right, so that was a blue result and we won $50. So again, we hit on the second try. All right, let's go ahead and complete the column after we clear this. Okay, so B, B, and we're gonna clear this. Take three more free hands. Banker wins. Banker. All right, another blue. Player wins. Player. All right, right now blue is on a streak. Okay, let's see if it hits it, the dragon tail. <laughs> All right, one more free hand here. Wow, banker wins. Banker. Okay, so that was a red result. And we are finished with that column, which means we could start betting, all right? So what are we betting on? We're betting against the blue. So we're looking for red here. Last result was banker, move three to the left, one, two, three. As you can see, the squares don't match. You have a empty one and a filled one. So you would get chaos if you were to bet banker. We don't want chaos, we want red. So I'm gonna bet on player. All right, 25 on player. Natural nine on bank. Banker. Okay, so that was a blue result and we lost 25 and our next bet we're still looking for red so let's move three to the left one two three and both squares are empty if we place a bet on banker we would get red so we're going to place a bet on banker second bet of our bet spreads fifty dollars okay Banker wins. Banker. So this was a red result and we won $50 again. <laughs> We've been hitting on our second bet. Let's go ahead and collect and clear. Okay. Copy the results and clear this side as well. And we're gonna take three free hands and start over. Pretty straightforward, right guys? 
Banker wins. It's another red. Player wins with a natural. Okay, so that's blue. One more free hand. Banker wins. Banker. All right, and blue. Our column of five is complete. Let's start betting. So first result was blue. We're going against it. So let's see how we can get a red result. Okay, so banker came up last. Under, look underneath it. Go three to the left. One, two, three. The two squares are different. So if I bet banker, I would get blue, which is not what I want. So I'm going to bet opposite of banker. I'll bet on player, $25. Player wins. Player. Okay. So we hit right away and we win $25. All right. So we hit right away on the first hit. So let's clear this, copy that first result and clear that. I'm going to have to take four free hands here. Player wins. Play Okay, that's a red. Natural nine on player, player, which results in another red. Two more free hands. Natural nine on player. player. Okay, another red. Natural nine on banker. banker. Okay, and that's another red. Okay, so let's see here. We're betting against the red. We're looking for chaos, blue. Let's take a look at the last result, banker, and move three to the left, starting from the bottom. One, two, three. You can see that the two squares are different. So if I were to bet Banker, I would get chaos, blue, which is what I want. So I'm going to bet banker. All right, guys, 25 on bank. Natural eight on bank. Banker. And we get a blue result right away. We win $25. So we are going to collect, clear, move this over. And if you're at a casino, obviously you use their scorecard to do this, all right, to keep track of everything. So we're gonna have to take four free hands here. Natural eight on bank. Banker. All right, that's a red. Natural eight on bank. Banker. That is also a red. Natural eight on bank. Wow. Banker. <laughs> okay, another red and one last free hand. And then I'll start betting. Wow, look at these naturals. <laughs> Natural nine on player. player. All right, so there's a blue. Okay, so we have blue, red, 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 blue. We're going to start off at the top. We're going against blue. We're looking for red. Last result was player. Let's look underneath it. Go three to the left, one, two, three. The two squares are empty and filled, so opposite, which means chaos if we bet player. We don't want blue, we want red. So we're gonna bet opposite of player, banker. All right, so banker for 25. Banker wins. Banker. Whoops, I'll put red over here and 25 over here. Okay, so collect. And we are at $200 in profit, so we are gonna stop right there. As you can see, the Cockroach Road 
adds another layer of depth to your game. It is more detailed than just banker player, banker player. And since it is more complex and deep, when you are playing my strategies, you shift the probabilities more to your side. That is why I encourage all of you to learn the derived roads, master them, know them inside and out. You should be able to know within seconds what to bet. So practice, practice, practice. There it is, no mirror strategy, using Cockroach Road, deadly combination. If you enjoyed this session, don't forget to smash the like button. Check out my website, link in the description. Thank you everybody for watching. Stay safe and I will catch you in the next one. Ciao.